worship this mighty God, this great God, this everlasting Father, the God that was and is and is to come. I want you to give him praise. I want you to worship him. Exalt the name of the Lord. Magnify him. Give him praise. Worship him for who he is. Give him praise. Give him glory. Honor him. Magnify the name of the Lord. Father, you are good. You are great. You are mighty. You are kind. A gracious God, a merciful God, mighty God, good God, loving Father. There's none like you, oh God. There's none to be compared to you. You are God. You got the whole world in your hands. You are the Almighty, the King of glory, the God that sits in heaven and made this earth is full to glory, honor, majesty, adoration unto you. There's none to be compared to you. You got the whole world in your hands. Hallowed be thy name, O God. In you we live, in you we move, in you we have our being. You are greater than the greatest. You are, the, you are higher than the highest. The Almighty God, ancient of days, Lion of tribe of Judah, the Lily of the Valley, the Almighty God, we worship and adore you. In Jesus' name we worship. Anytime I see I know the breaking of the day. I say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Anytime I see, I know the breaking of the day. I say thank you. God that kept you, 
the God that saved you, the God that when you sleep, you don't know what happened around you, but he kept you. He's a God that never slumber nor sleep. He's a God that is alive forever. He's been faithful. Thank him for shelter over your head, for food on your table. Thank him for good health. Thank God for all that he has done. He's faithful and he's good. Just appreciate the love for who he is. Father, we say thank you. I we appreciate thank and adore you. you. We give you praise, oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Our Father and our God, there is none to be compared to you. We thank you because you are good, you are kind, you are faithful, you are a loving Father, you are beautiful for every situation. You are God that have kept us. The Bible says, by your mercy we are not consumed. Thank you for protecting us when we go out, for blessing us when we go out, and for keeping us when we come back home in safe and healthy. Thank you for preservation, for protection. You are good. We appreciate and adore you. We thank you for last Sunday's service. Father, today is another day, oh God, that we are privileged to come into your presence and to learn at your faith. Holy Spirit of God, we pray teach us yourself in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I pray, give us the simplicity of heart to receive from you tonight. And Lord, that which we're going to learn tonight, Father, we pray that it will be mixed with faith in our heart and it will profit us in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, I pray that you teach through me. I myself want to learn and have understanding. Let it be more of Jesus and less of every flesh in this place and take all the glory and bless each and every one of us in Jesus name we pray praise the Lord praise master Jesus please let us have our seats you are welcome today's topic is the anointing part one the anointing part one and our Bible reading is taken from Acts, the Act of the Apostles, chapter 4. We are going to read from verse 5 to 20, and I will read from here. We are going to read from verse 5 to 20. So I read. And it came to pass on the morrow that their rulers and elders and scribes and Ananias the high priest and Sapphires and John and Alexander and as many as were of the kindred of the high priest were gathered together at Jerusalem. And when they had set them in the midst, they asked by what power or by what name have you done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, said unto them, Ye rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day be examined of the good deed done to the impotent man, by what means he is made old, be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him do I this man stand here before you all. This is the stone which was set at naught for you builders, which is become the head of the corner. Neither is that salvation in any other, other name under heaven, given among men, whereby we must be saved. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. And beholding the man which was healed, standing with them, they could say nothing against it. But when they had commanded them to go aside out of the council, they conferred among themselves, saying, What shall we do to this man? For that indeed a notable miracle has been done by them. 
is manifest to all them that dwell in Jerusalem, and we cannot deny it. But at its, at its spread no further among the people, let us straight, straightly threaten them that they speak henceforth to no man in, this name, in his name. And they called them and commanded them not to speak at all, nor teach in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John answered and said unto them, Where it be right in the sight of God to hearken unto you more than unto God, judge ye. 20, the last verse. For we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Let's look at that verse 13. Let's look at verse 13. Verse 13 says, Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. <laughs> There's no way you will be with Jesus though. That people will not notice you. But, but because things will happen. You know, they are fishermen. Peter, they didn't go. You, you know all those um, egun, that selfish. Their husbands, you see them by that makoko or by um, um, okoba. Or when you apply uh, Todd Milan Bridge, you see them on their canoe with their nets catching fish. They are not learning. They didn't. Some of them can't read. They can't even write their names, some of them. But I'm just saying, imagine a fisherman like that. That's how Peter and John were. They're on land. But when they realize what these people are saying, what is coming out, and the kind of, this is the same Peter that denied Christ now. He denied him. But the kind of boldness he was, you know, that they see him, you know, possessing and John and the way they talk. They know these people are not learning. But they are speaking as somebody even described that they see as the most learned people who are bound for what they are saying. And they can see notable miracles that were done. And they take note. They notice that these people have been with Jesus. That's why they were things, they were able to do all this. And that's why the boldness were there. There's no way you'll be with Jesus that there will not be different, that you will not be different. The Bible says he has not given us the spirit of fear, but of what? Of boldness and of what? Sound mind. That's the kind of spirit he gave us. So the moment you walk with God, we walk with Jesus, definitely you cannot be a timid person. That's the truth. Praise Master Jesus. But a notable miracle was done to a man that is lame. That everybody knows him. He was born like that. So when they saw the man standing with them, they cannot do but to let them go. You can't, because the man was standing. What do you want to do? This way? Is it because I'm made whole? Hello? Power. They were asking about which power. The Lord. That's the anointing. That's the power of God that flows through them. The more you walk with God, the more you live righteously, the more God pour himself in you. That's why Jesus Christ said, greater work that he did, that we, can, we will do it. Because now, he's going, he has dropped the Holy Spirit for us. Then Jesus was with the Holy Spirit. He was carrying him. But say he needs to go quickly so that he can drop the Holy Spirit for us. So that we can do greater works. Praise Master Jesus. Introduction says, what is anointing? What are the conditions for maintaining the flow of anointing? May the comforter teach and bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. What is anointing? Anointing is the flowing, outflowing of the Holy Spirit through a sanctified vessel. 
a sanctified vessel, a sanctified vessel, a sanctified vessel. It won't just flow through anything. It won't just flow through anything. It's just like an electricity. You know, they have um, the cable, there are some they call, um, there are two cables. That's one that they call them, that is made of um, uh, um, aluminum. And there is one that is made of um, copper. But they will tell you the one with copper works better than with, with the one with aluminum. So, even when you are not, you are not a vessel that is satisfy, uh, sanctified, there's no way the Holy Spirit will walk or flow through that person. There has always been a cutoff. You know, when you use the aluminum cable, the, when the electric work, for example, you will just, just find out that it cut, it cut off when the power is much. The aluminum cannot carry the, 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 the power of the electricity, the way copper will carry it. So it will cut off. Praise the Lord. That's why I say it's better to use copper wire than aluminum wire. Praise Master Jesus. So, the Holy Spirit would rather look for a sanctified vessel to flow through. And they went further to tell us that it is like liken unto rain. You know, there's a song we used to sing. It said, um, Open the floodgates in the, and let your rain Fall on me, open the floodgates in the mountains, and let the rain fall on me. The Holy Spirit is like a rain. It's likened to a rain. You know, it talks of, there shall be showers of blessings. You know, the shower there. You can't get that blessing without the Holy Spirit. It's a fact. Is the one that do the blessing. Is the one that do the miracle. Is the is the power of God. And is likened unto a rain. Let us look at Zechariah, ten one, and let somebody read for us Joel two twenty three. Joel two twenty If you are there, please read for What? Which one are you reading, please? Okay, Joel 2, 23, good. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Look at, uh, oh, they've removed it. Yes. Praise the Lord. We are likened to a grass. When you water a grass and you water a plant, if you don't water a plant, what, what will happen to that plant? Dry. It will dry. In fact, it will first of all change color from green to what? To yellow. And from there, it will die. But when you water it continuously, it will be glowing. The green will come up. If it's a thing that will bring, it will bring forth fruit. Is that not so? So that's how the rain it is for us as the children of God. The Holy Spirit is what makes us to glow. It's the Holy Spirit the one that makes us to be able to, to demonstrate the power of God that we carry. Praise the Lord. And then he said, it is a divine enabling grace. The grace is there. It's there. It's free to tap into it. Praise Master Jesus. But it is neither the well of water springing up into everlasting life, nor the flowing river of living water. For these are 
referring to the operation of the Holy Ghost at the new birth and at the baptism of believers. When a believer is baptized, you know the Bible said, when you give your, your, your stomach, it will be like a river of water. That's how the Holy Spirit will be. No overflowing, flowing out. Let us look at um, John 7, 3. Please, John 7, 3. And then look for 18 to 19. Look for 18 to 19. John 7, 3. Praise the Lord. Then let's see, look for 18 to 19. Look for 18. Yes. Praise the Lord. Without the Holy Spirit, please bring it back to verse 18. Yes. He said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. If the Spirit of the Lord is not upon me, he won't be able to do all this because he has anointed me to preach the gospel. You can't, when you don't have the Spirit, you don't give what you don't have. You can't give what you don't have. If you don't have the Holy Spirit, you cannot preach. That's the truth. You cannot preach the gospel. You cannot say you want to, you want to heal the brokenhearted. You, don't, you can't have the power to say, I want to do, I, I, I have the power to heal. If you don't have the Holy Spirit, you can't do it. Praise Master Jesus. So, the anointing determines the volume of water in the rivers, which is turned determine the function of which they can be put. Similarly, for example, the level of anointing a man determines the number of people he can carry along or his productivity as a man of God. That's the truth. Can you... When you, when you have you ever imagined if somebody has preached before Geo preached on Holy Ghost service, and call out for, you know, those that want to give their life to Christ. By the time Geo comes to preach and make the same altar call, I, have you noticed the number of people that come out when Geo's, you know, preach and make altar calls? It's overflow. It's the anointing he carries. Because as he say it out, I'm not saying those that are called. Yes, people came out. But you can't compare the measure of people that came out when Joe would, you know, make another call. Because the anointing he carries. You want to listen now. I work with a Muslim. I, I work with a man that was a Muslim. before, And he would tell me, out of all the men of God, that he always loved to listen on Sunday. He's a Muslim. He will listen to Pastor Adeboye preach. He said, Deb call unto the depths. You know? The Spirit of God will always, that is in him, will always call up, you know, draw men unto God. So you need to draw nearer to God so that God himself can draw nearer unto you. The more you draw nearer to him, the more he draws out and the more he uses you for his glory. Praise the Lord. Because he will find you as a vessel that is willing to be used. And when he see a vessel that is, 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 is sanctified, consecrated unto him, oh, that's why he said the, the field is what? Is, is, is ripe. But there are few laborers. God is still looking for laborers to use. So release yourself to him. Let him pour his, his power, his spirit more on you so that you can do more for him. May the Lord help us to release ourselves to him in Jesus' name. He said, I know to make Christian life active and full of resolve as it were 
It enthroned the believer. That's what it does. The anointing makes Christian life to be active, full of results. When you're anointed, you cannot do things without, without seeing results. That is the truth. Let us look at um, John 14, verse 12, and then Revelation 1, 6. John 14, verse 12. John 14. Praise the Lord. He said, the work he does, we will do. Even greater works. So, if Jesus has raised there, Jesus, I make an impotent man that had been at the Bethesda pool for 38 years to rise and walk. You can do likewise. But that's what he says. But what is the what do you need to do that? Is the anointing. Is the anointing. Is the spirit of God that you need to do much more than he has done. And let us see Revelation 1 6 quickly. Revelation 1 6. Praise the Lord. Oh, they tell me, what, what, who can tell me one, 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 you know, great thing that kings have? Authority. They have authority. They have power. They have dominion. On a lighter moon. On a lighter moon. Um, that day will be, <laughs> we witness what I'm saying. We have a KBSC here, one of our, as a member before, Abidadi. So there was a time they wanted to give him staff of office in Nikosi. So he invited all minister, we went. So I, I came early and there are plenty of bars in one room, they sat down. So jokingly, I didn't know, ah, see where is KBSC? I wanted to greet him. So as I opened the door and, and saw all of them, I ran back. And I went to pastor. I just said joking. I said, "Oh, and you can't sell the missing, you know." They all, oh, and yeah, oh, but it's all in. Ah, I best sell it. Joking on the last time because you know, king, they have power. Forget it in in their dominion, in their domain. In that, they, if they say, if they say, lock up your shop for two weeks, you will, you will, because they are kings. And the Bible told us, they said. God has made us kings and priests. What makes us that? What makes us? That means we have power. The anointing, the, the Holy Spirit of God dwells in us. Makes us kings and priests to God. So when you go, you have authority. You move with authority. Something happened. I went to a car wash to wash my car. I... I, I came from somewhere, one toll gate, I paid money and they gave me change. A tattered, I've moved before I read that what they gave me as change was a tattered money. So I put in my page and said, you will, I'll still pass here again. I'll give you back your money. So I put it there. So my way, I branched into a car wash to wash my car. And as a particular young man that used to wash my car when I get there. So he washed. I went to buy something. I came back. He has finished washing. So I entered my car. My heart just went to the. It was just as you. Ah, ah. I said, they've taken this money. Who took my money? Like I said, Sheon, come. Sheon, who took? I left money here. Who took it? He said, No. He just screamed. No, I didn't take your money. Oh, I didn't take any money there. Ah, ah. I said, Then there's thief here. Then I stand. I said, Where's your manager? I said, I left some money in my pigeonhole here. I can't find my money. Ah, that guy insulted me to nonsense. I came here, which car you that I said, I bought it with my money. Oh, I work for it. It might be tattered, but it's my car. That you, are, you came here to, to, to insult us. How much is the money? And I was trying to, he was insulting me, he was shouting. So somebody came, a woman came from, she said, Calm down. This woman cannot be lying. I said, It's not the amount that matter. It does not matter, but that somebody stole. Somebody stole. 
that is the thing. And the woman was saying he was insulting me. And I said, no problem. I said, I'm a woman with authority. I say here, in this place. I say, whoever stole that money, um, I don't know how to put it in English. When Ashiria Onibo, you know, that he will be exposed. What he will do, he's going to do what sin in this place. And I said, when he does it, when you, manager, on my beard, Timoli, is you that they will grab first and they will lock you up. Go and write it down. I'm saying with authority. And I seal it with the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. And I left. The following morning, I was coming, to, it was on Saturday. Sunday, I was coming as I was entering the church, parking my car. I just saw she home. And he frustrated and hold my left. I said, what, what happened? He said, Mommy, please reverse that thing you said. He said, when you left, they come in. What that woman say? If, if, anybody, if any of you have taken her money, go and see her and go and beg her to reverse it. I said, ah, I've said it. And so shall it be. When you say, Mommy, no. I took your money. I said, but she, you are the first person I called because I suspected that it's you. If you have told me, mommy, I took your money to eat. I'm hungry. I'll give you more. I'll give you 1,000 so that that money cannot fill you to go and buy better food to eat. I said, but you lied. I said, mom, please reverse that thing. I said, okay. On one condition. I said, okay, that you will not stole again. That you will not take people's things again. I reverse it in Jesus' name. It won't happen. It shall be well with you. You will make it in life. You will be great. Provided you stop stealing. If you steal, you will not be covered. So don't steal again. So what I'm saying is, you have the authority. I said it and I forgot about it, but I know it will come to pass. I write it down. I'm so sure that it will come to pass. I say, you young man, when it come to pass, you'll be, you'll be locked up. Because you are the one they will take first and lock you up. Praise the Lord. We are the priests and kings. You have authority. Your mouth is full of authority. So that's why as a Christian, say, death and life is what is in our mouth. So be careful what you say with your mouth. As an authentic man and woman of God. So we should be careful. Condition for maintaining the flow of the anointing. There are conditions where you are anointed, you have the Holy Spirit in you. There are conditions to maintain it. You know, I said, the Holy Spirit will come on who? On a sanctified vessel. Must be a vessel that is what? Is sanctified. If you're a Christian that is not sanctified, forget it. Holy Spirit cannot dwell in a dirty smelling vessel. You can't take, even you, you can't take a cup from the toilet and drink water with it, can you? Hello? If they put a glass cup, bought the same glass cup the same day, put one, maybe in pastor's office, and then put one in the toilet, nobody touch it all. They didn't use it, but they just put it there. Then the following day, they took the one in the toilet, put water. Took the one in the pastor's office, put water. Which one will you take and drink with? Ah. So then if you're a dirty vessel, you are not sanctified, you are not clean, and you expect the Holy Spirit to, to, to reside in you, no, you can't stay in a dirty place. You are stinking, you are smelling. You are dirty. So you, 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 you can't see Holy Spirit dwelling in such way. When you see people manifesting the power of God, they are sanctified. And they are righteous people. Sin, they are far from sin. The more you are far from sin, the more you, you, you magnet, the more the Holy Spirit come nearer to you. Praise the Lord. So condition for maintaining the flow. Love, righteous, love for righteousness, hate, threat for iniquity. You must love righteousness. You must love holiness. And run for and hate 
sin. You must hate iniquity. You see, the Lord Jesus never ran out of anointing because he loved righteousness and hate iniquity. Let us read Psalm 45, verse 6 and 7. Psalm 45, verse 6 and 7. Psalm 45, verse 6, first, verse 6, verse 6 and 7. The scepter stands for his sign of power. Above thy fellow. Because thou love righteousness and hate iniquity, Lord thy God has anointed you above your fellow. If you and your fellow are standing for a thing, if you and somebody are quoting and you know to get something, you are God has anointed you because you love you will get it, me. Because he has anointed you above every other person in that place. Why? You love righteousness and do what? You hate iniquity. That was why Jesus Christ was able to do more, more. You know, the Bible says, When you carry sieve and put um, Gary with what will come down, then the Lord on the sieve because you wanted the finest Gary. The Bible said the prince of this world took Jesus Christ and sieve him like this. Nothing. Everything just to it could not get Plums, one single thing to hold against him. Praise righteous God. Then, can we read 2 Corinthians 5.21 too? 2 Corinthians 5.21. 2 Corinthians 5.21. It says, for he has made him to be seen for us. Who know no sin? Now we might be made the righteousness of God in him. So, you are expected to be a righteous person. In fact, at times, when I want to say, I'm the righteousness of God by Christ Jesus. So, I'm putting on myself the righteousness of Jesus Christ. So, all my sin, Father, have mercy, but now I'm wearing the righteousness of God by Jesus Christ. Praise Master Jesus. Because the Bible says God made him sin for us to do what? To be righteous. Because even our righteousness, the Bible says it's like what? It's like a filthy rag. So even the righteousness we are trying to do is like a filthy rag. But when you wear the righteousness of, of God by Christ Jesus, so when God is seeing you, he's seeing the righteousness of Christ in you. Praise Jesus. Sin plays a limit on the anointing. Sin plays a limit on the anointing. Go and ask any point and put his hand in sin. Even when you ask for forgiveness, forgiving you, you can't be on that level again. You know, <laughs> when God wants to promote you from one level of anointing to another, you'll be tempted. Temptation will come. It's when you pass your temptation that you move up from the level you were. God, I say, yes, I can commit more things to his or her hand because she has scaled through this level. And then he will pour more of himself in you. You can do more. And then temptation will still come at that level. Because the devil is afraid. Ah! He will bring in some temptation again and then another level when you skate through. Of the, uh, you, you, you have not seen if temptation come until you fall into that temptation that you sin. But if temptation come and you didn't fall, you're able to go. But if you fall 
And then you still went to God for forgiveness, genuinely confess it, and God forgive you. My dear, you go down. You can't be on that level again. You can't be on that level that you operate again. I don't want to mention it, but there are some pastors that I know when they were ministering. You know, in fact, I don't want to mention him. He's the one that first ministered in the stadium. That people with stadium, you know, it's really will fill to brim. And the anointing was there. You can, you know. But of a sudden, eh, it begins to sell eh, handkerchief. Begins to sell anointing oil. Begins to do all sorts of things. And then before you know it, it faded out. He's still ministering to AC Half Church, but nobody knows here of him again. But AC Half Church, but he dropped, and nobody hears of him again. I'm sure even if I mention his name, no, most of you don't know him. But when he was, when the Spirit of God was walking through him, everybody knows him. In, in fact, on that land, ah, you see Zoe one, Zoe. Have you heard of Zoe ministry? You hear, you see. Is, then it was Lazarus. Lazarus, Zoe 1, Zoe 2, Zoe 3, Zoe 4. This is how they, go, they move in convoy. The ministry is still on. But have you heard of him? I don't want to mention the name of the man. Have you heard of him? So when you do wrong, when they are anointing, even when you, you confess and God forgive and forget, but he may not commit some things into your hand again. Some level of things into your that's why you see Gio. Gio is a very wise man. Ah, Gio is a very wise man. No, the more he do more, the more he obeys himself. The more he do more things, he obeys himself. The more he do greater, things, he obeys himself. Praise the Lord. For you to know that it's not him, oh, it's God that is doing it. Oh, I'm just a uh, small boy. You tell you that is a small. A man of 80 years, tell you, he's still a small boy. He knows now. Praise Master Jesus. So, walking in love, if a believer is to constantly flow in anointing, love for God himself, the ministry, the church, and people in general must be paramount. You must love God. You must love people. You must love the ministry. You must love the church, the church of God. You must show, you must love people generally. They must be able to tell you that, yes, this person loves God and he loves people. You must show that agape love of Christ all through to everyone. And then, living a life of praise. You must live a life of praise. Living a life of praise, a life of, of praise increases the flow of anointing. No matter the circumstances of the situation you are, continue to do what? To praise God. Continue to do what? To praise him. Praise the Lord. And then say, praise increase the anointing. Murmur and complain. Keep anointing far away. So do not engage in either of the two. When you are someone that murmurs a lot, or you complain, you complain, Instead of giving thanks, instead of praising God, instead of worshiping him, you, you only complain. I've not gotten this. I've not had that. My mate had this. You see where I am. Eh, my mate have uh, do, done this. I have not even gotten anything. Eh? And I'm serving God. Eh? I sweep the church. Eh? I pay my tithe. You are complaining. The whole the anointing will run away. Say this complainer. Even when I do it, she won't even see it. Do you even recognize that God has done it because she is full of complaining? Let your life full of praise. Praise Master Jesus. And praise increase the flow of the anointing. The more you praise, one day just wake up all through that day. Just be praising God, be dancing, be, you know, be praising him, worshiping him. Don't, don't ask anything. Don't ask. Just praise him all through. Worship him all through. And see what your day will look like that day. Praise Master Jesus.
And then he say, the journey that would have taken the anointed Israel 40 days and lasted 40 years because of murmuring. Because they complain enough. It's the journey they would have taken them 40 days. Took them 40 years. Some of them did not even see the promised land because they died on the way. It's Caleb downward that was able to enter into the promise. All the elder ones, the oldest ones, they all died because they murmur, they grumble. They, 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 they are not full of praise. They are not full of thanksgiving. Praise Master Jesus. Let's see Joshua 5 as we conclude. Let's see Joshua 5, 6. Joshua 5, 6. Praise the Lord. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. That's what I want us to see. Because they were complaining, they were murmuring. All those men of war. Joshua was a young man then. It's Joshua downward that was able to get this land. All the men then, they all died. They were consumed on the way. In conclusion, all true believer that wants to succeed in the pilgrim way must equally desire ever flowing anointing. You must desire it. God don't waste resources. God don't waste resources. You must desire it. You must desire it and then he keep on giving you. The more you desire, the more he gives you. The more you desire, the more he gives you. And when you desire that means the more you make yourself holy, the more you, you, you seek more of him, the more you look to, to, to know him more and better, the more he release more of himself to you. Praise the Lord. So, flowing anointing. The kingdom of God is not in words, but is in demonstration of the spirit and power. It's the demonstration. That what makes us different from the unbelievers. You have the power. You have the spirit. You carry the spirit of God inside of you. You can demonstrate the power of God. That what makes the difference. So, is in the demonstration. It's not in words, but it's in demonstration of the spirit and power. Samuel was a highly anointed man of God that did not allow any of his word to fall to the ground. Pray for your anointing now in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Any question? Any question? Any contribution? Any question? Any contribution? If not, let us rise as we pray. Please, after prayer, please, you walk to the um, offering box and drop your offering. After the grace. Let the living water Oh, ah, my soul, let the Holy Spirit come and take control of every situation that I trouble my mind, all my cares and prodings unto you arrow father 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 speak to Jesus
want you to I want you to ask the Lord to release more of himself into you. Ask the Holy Spirit to come in a way he has never visited you before. That you desire him. Empty yourself before him because if you are full, there's no way he can enter. But if you are empty, the Holy Spirit is ready to fill you to the brim. He will fill you, you overflow. Ask the Holy Spirit to come in a special way and fill you to the brim. Ask the Holy Spirit, tell him how empty you are. Tell him how empty you are. Tell me you need him in your life. Without the Holy Spirit, you can do nothing. You are nobody without him. Ask him that you want more of him. More of the Spirit of God. More of Jesus in your life. More of the Holy Spirit. That God himself should anoint and pour his spirit upon you in a special way. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Lord, you are good, you are kind, you are a merciful. Father, Father, Lord, indeed, O oh God, we pray this night, O oh God, that you will pour upon each and every one of us, you will pour your spirit upon us in a special way. Fill every emptiness in us with your spirit in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray, O oh God, that through your spirit, O oh Lord, we will be able to do exploits for the kingdom of God. In the name of Jesus. Your spirit, you, you, so that we can preach the gospel. In the mighty name of Jesus. So that we can be bold like Peter and John. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, thank you. Blessed be thy name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Thursday is another day with the Lord. Faith Clinic. Please don't miss it. And God bless you as you come. May we share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Please don't forget to drop your offering.